Why want to wait rocks with the latest from the rival sons. That is you want to from the new album head down. They're playing tonight at the, uh, the Bay city music hall, uh, here in Hamilton. I'm joined by Scott, Jay, Mike and Dave from the rival sons. How are you doing guys? All right. How's it How's going, going, man? man? Yeah, welcome welcome good, to the Wyoming good. studio. It's good to be back in the hammer. You were admiring our hot sauce here. Yes, I was. And you say you make your own hot sauce. I do Jay. make my own hot sauce. I am a hot sauce and MF. <laughs> Big time. So how does, that, how does that process work, making the signature Rival Sons hot sauce? Uh, I, you know, I've thrown our, our stickers on a couple of my bottles <laughs> that I brought out. Oh, really? Yeah. You guys bring them out on the road? Yeah. Yeah, we'll bring them out. I like to make like a, a, a habanero or like a, a ghost pepper, you know, pureed yeah. sauce. Nice. Really Pretty delicious, actually. <laughs> well, Good next stuff. time you guys come by the studio, you guys bring us some of that Rival Sun sauce. It should probably just send you some. Yeah, send us some. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take totally. it for sure. We'll add it to the collection. So uh, you guys are just finishing up a, a really busy year, tours of Europe, United States. You're back here in uh, Canada, and you guys are from California, but I go as far as to call you guys honorary Canadians because you guys are here so much we love you guys up here people have that and it feels real good to be welcome that way yeah Yeah. well you know really appreciate it we love our rock and roll in in Canada what do you think it is about your music that Canadians and people in general are latching on to so much gosh it's hard to hard to pinpoint I mean this is just a good bunch of rock and roll people up here yeah I think you guys are just on the level I think that's what it amounts to. Your, fa- your favorite sport condones fighting and, and promotes it, actually. That's pretty <laughs> rock and roll. Yeah. You're probably one of the world-class uh, beer-drinking countries in the yeah, world. Yeah. Uh, gosh, I don't know. You guys like muscle cars here? Sure. Yeah, they do. Well, yeah. definitely. There's there you the, go. <laughs> there's the triage <laughs> right there. Perfect. Well, you know, we, we do like rock and roll up here. I think it's just a straight-ahead kind of thing in Canada, and your music works just really well with the country in general i think there's yeah there's just a common thread yeah going on and um even you know even the people the you know the upper classes and everything i think that canadians maintain a certain blue collar mentality that mm. works you know yeah it's like uh i really appreciate it the lack of pretension is refreshing yeah so. you got some good local bands up here happening too good rock and rolls kind of alive you got like the sheep dogs and monster trucks stuff. on the rise right now yeah, and uh, cool. they're from hamilton right they are yeah that's yeah we met we met up with them uh at the download festival mm-hmm. in the uk I think that'd be a pretty cool double bill. You guys in Monster Truck? Yeah. That'd be pretty kick-ass. Yeah, they're great guys. We're trying to do the triple bill, man, all three of our bands. Yeah. Let's do a super tour. Let's set that up. Your tour manager's here. Let's get that Let's get that going. <laughs> all right, perfect. Give so, us a thumbs up. That means it's happening. It's happening. Yeah, yeah. Done deal uh, in 2014. Um, we just got through Halloween. How do how do the Rival Sons celebrate Halloween? What did you guys get up to? Uh, we, used to we like to celebrate Halloween by touring. Yeah. <laughs> and no costumes yeah. on stage, though. No. No, no, no. We uh, no. You know, we've never really done costumes on stage. We've been on stage for Halloween many times, but um, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but it's hot enough. There's enough going on that yeah. having like an, a distraction. We played. We played Ottawa on Halloween this year, and I'm not kidding. Somebody actually showed up and dressed up as me, so I figured right. I am a costume <laughs> nice. to myself. You've just you've just gone beyond the point of being just in a rock band. You're officially an icon, complete fool and character. <laughs> it's nice. Uh, it was nice playing because all of the costumes, all of the girls. If, if there's a nurse, there's a librarian or whatever, but it's They're always all, sexy. This slutty. yeah, I'm a, s- a sexy slutty ghost. I'm a whatever, but it's slutty. Yeah. So that's fantastic. God bless them. <laughs> and when you guys got into the studio today, we uh, we have a, a bag of candy. You guys uh, helped yourselves. What was the, what's the hit? What's your favorite we candy? Killed that I you killed it. You guys did. <laughs> Took that from a pregnant woman. Yeah, our uh, one of our jocks in the morning's pregnant. That's her stash. But oh. she won't care. One the ba. She loves good looking guys in bands, so she'll be happy that you guys ate all the candy. My so. favorite is crispy crunch. Yeah, yeah you guys don't have that great. down in the states. No. Crunch. Down in California, no, no crispy crunch. No, no. but the equivalent bar is the like Wonder food. Bar is good too. Okay, but the we you guys have Butterfinger, which you guys say is the equivalent of oh, crispy Butter crunch. Butterfinger is delicious. Pretty close. Yeah, nice. Bart I Simpson think Butterfinger has a beat. <laughs> It's good, though. Yeah. <laughs> right on. We're talking to the guys in the Rival Suns. They're playing tonight at the Bay City Music Hall, right down by the water uh, here in Hamilton. Great little spot. Uh, you guys brought a guitar and a voice. Did you guys want to maybe play a little tune for us? I think, is that the plan? I don't see why I, not. I, I We're here. I this out everywhere I go, like to hold it. Yeah. It's like my security blanket, my <laughs> wubby. <laughs> what tune are you guys going to play for us? We're going to give you some Keep On Swinging. Perfect. Acoustic Rival Sons on Why Wouldn't Wait.
Acoustic Rival Sons keep on swinging. They're playing tonight at the Bay City Music Hall. And uh, you guys get to come back after the break. We'll talk a little bit about the record. Yeah, totally. Right on. We're talking to the Rival Sons. We'll be back after this. <laughs> 108 Rocks yeah. with the Rival Sons and Pressure in Time. They're playing tonight at the Bay City Music Hall. Right now, I'm joined by all four members of the Rival Sons. What's going on, guys? Mm-hmm. Yo, all yo. Right. And you know, this is the only time we've done radio the whole time we're in Canada with all four of us. Awesome. Yeah. We might have to throw like a beatbox, like, like rhyme <laughs> session out. <laughs> 
Well, that, uh, that last tune that you guys played was awesome. We heard Keep On Swinging Acoustic. Sounded amazing. And, like, you know, you, you made it work. Percussion. You made the de- you, trying. you hit the desk. It was, all, it was all good. Doing my job. And you were saying that when it comes to the live show, you pretty much keep the, you know, the energy going. But, you know, to do the acoustic thing is... It's we really played, cool. We play some lower, lower tempo stuff, some yeah, we'll ballady stuff, but but yeah, it's electric. We'll bring it down, you know, here and there. Yeah, and just you need to change your pace, you know, otherwise people get raw. Yeah, for sure. Um, I was uh, <laughs> <laughs> raw. That's chafe. In. That's chafe. Chafe. There's a little bit of that sound chafe going on, right? <laughs> no, it isn't sound chafe. Okay, you know exactly <laughs> what we're talking about. I'm talking about serious chafe. <laughs> serious chafe. <laughs> Um, well, uh, this is we're doing actually the theme weekend this weekend on Y One Eight is the Movember weekend. So we're we're talking about stashes, facial hair. Uh, Scott, you got a pretty pretty killer stash. I just stash. started this yesterday. I hope it's looking good for Movember. It looks amazing. I love I appreciate it. Appreciate that in a real manly way. <laughs> well, Thanks, do you have do you have any? Uh, well, yeah, bro. Those do you jeans have? look great, homie. I mean, <laughs> the belt bug. I mean, you know, this is a good fit. It's a good fit. You and those jeans. I don't know. Do you have any advice for people out there aspiring to have a good mustache? Any, don't sh- any tips yeah, on how to maintain? Shave. Yeah, I saw this great thing on like one of the twitters or one of the face balls or one of the things that they out said how to. It was like an instructional video: how a man shaves a beard, and it's a dude with a big beard, much like my good friend David's over here. And it's a picture of him, and he gets on the camera really close in his face, and he goes, "How a man shaves his beard," and then the next scene is him going, "You don't." A real man doesn't shave his beard. That's how you do it. <laughs> so that's how you grow a good mustache. That, that's you don't good shave it. Well, I'm glad we had some real, you know, bearded rock and roll musicians to come in for the Movember weekend. That's always really I good. I don't think that's foreign in Canada. There's some serious beardage over oh, here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we know our beards. Yeah. Chris just shaved for the Movember weekend, our morning show producer, so that's he's not ready how to grow. He shaves his beard. He's ready to grow, though. That's, that's the charity. thing. <laughs> Dave, Dave, how do you grow your beard? Well, first thing you got to do is shave it, and then you grow it. Okay. Then after you grow, what do you do? Uh, then you just you get stuff stuck in it. <laughs> Cracker crumbs. Cracker crumbs. You let things nest in there. Chocolate bars. Subway sauce. Your passport. <laughs> very good, very good. Well, I wanted to talk a little bit about the the record. Head down. I uh, gave it uh, what about f- my beard. Jesus. No. Okay, Mike's beard. What, what about? Know. Look Let's how handsome about, no, Mike's beard is. Everyone head head on the no, radio. No, no, no. Look at it, Radio down. Land. Were there any beard inspired no. songs on the record? Uh, no. no. I was growing a beard no. out. No. No. We were, uh, no. When no. we were recording, <laughs> I was growing a beard out. Nice. <laughs> record time. Record making time is a good time to grow out the beard. Yeah. Because yeah. you guys are kind of hunkered down. In the when studio. we first got yeah. together, all of us with Jay, um, I'd been talking to Jay on the phone. He, we'd both been talking. We're totally connecting on a lot of old music, and we're kind of like old friends immediately, you know. And we haven't seen each other though. I've seen pictures of him. She's seen pictures of me. You know, blah blah blah. First time we ever get together to play. Not a mention of it. We both have not like not even like Dave's beard. We had full blown like ZZ Top beards growing in, and like, we never even spoke about it. Looked at each other and went, <laughs> "Oh, you, nice beard, bro." <laughs> <laughs> These are like way off the face, ridiculous beards. You know what I mean? Yeah, kind of funny. Well, beards are an essential part of rock and roll, as far <clears throat> as I'm concerned. Yeah, just to yes. put a pin on it for sure. <laughs> what about you, Jay? What is, what, you have the you have the you have a little bit of the sideburn action. Uh. No, that's that's just stupid. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I plan on growing a beard out, you know, before too long. Nice. I love growing a beard, man. Yeah, love growing a beard, but right. uh, now's not the time. <laughs> not the time. No, not the it's place. too cool right now. Yeah, you know, facial hair is too in. Hey, man, yeah. what? <laughs> Sorry, hipster. <laughs> yeah, but you, well, you got blonde hair. It's different. Oh my gosh, where's this going? <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the record. Head oh, down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you guys are from California, obviously Long Beach, California. Um, Until the sun comes was my summer jam. Like All that right. was the uh, that was the ultimate summer song for me. And I was just wondering, what kind of, it's got that '60s kind of pop feel to it. And I was wondering what the inspiration was for you guys behind that track. Uh, I mean, I could start musically and say that it was totally a summer jam song uh, to the point of us kind of chuckling about it, like. Well, this is so poppy yeah. and so fun. It's almost ridiculous, but let's have fun with it and yeah. go all the way with it. Um, and, <laughs> and then she it, took it yeah, to the next right. level. And so then I'm listening to what's, what the guys are doing musically, and I'm just going, 
Man, you know what? You got to let a song be what it's calling to be. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't believe I was right. And when I showed the guys, I'm like, oh my God. The chorus goes like this. We can dance. We can dance until the sun comes up. Let me break out a little. Let, let me break out a little Steve Miller for you. Well, yeah, it was really, you know, listening to listening to the song. It was. I really felt like, why would, don't you know? I don't want to try to make this song into anything other than what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a feel-good song to make people want to get up and dance and drink. And uh, take off shirts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a Nike song. Yeah, mission accomplished, though. That song's just got a, a great feel to it. And yeah, like the vocal is just, it's a really, really sweet vocal, too. So really dig that song. The other the other tracks I was noticing on the record was the two parter, the Manifest Destiny, part one and part two. That is not a feel good song. No, right but the, those the, are feel bad songs. Feel bad, but it's epic. <laughs> and the two part song, I think, is something that's lost on a lot of bands now the ability to, you know, do that eight minute epic track. And and how did you guys approach, you know, doing something like that, which is kind of the opposite well, really, of until the sun comes? It wasn't linked. They weren't. They weren't linked musically originally. It was not. Not as. It was more serendipitous. I think the part two was the first song we did in the session, but we had just recorded it musically and left it moved on. We're moving very quickly in the studio every day, just finishing songs. That one Jay had to finish it, but it was done musically. Came back in with Manifest Part 1 about halfway through the session, and he had the idea immediately as we were tracking it. He had come up with this idea, and furthermore, because he had another song on the table that he was working on, came up with the idea. I think he Put came it up together yeah. and went, you know what, the, yeah. there's an energy, a common energy between these these two songs. So, you know, kind of you just put them together and go, oh yeah, that totally works. Yeah. <laughs> And it works well on the record, too. It's not something that, like I said, not something that a lot of bands do anymore. That kind of epic, classic rock song that you can really... I'm not going to call it a stoner song, but you could definitely light up a doobie or two for that kind of tune and just kind of drop out. <laughs> yeah, I think all I did was go back and like hit another guitar pass on part two once the idea was down for a concept and went, okay, I can like... For, for my end, I can tie together the two songs guitar-wise, musically that yeah. way, to make it kind of tell the story like that well yeah you wanted to i remember on part two when you came back through you wanted to really um once you heard the lyrics and putting it together you wanted to put the violence in there yeah you know i thought that turned out really good perfect rival sons playing tonight at the bay city music hall new album head down is out uh, is out now what's what's coming up for you guys 2014 is on the horizon holidays what's next for the rival sons well the plan is we're gonna go, go home now, uh, after this tour's finished, we've got a couple of one-offs, got to go to Hawaii. and We're working on a live DVD. Yeah, got to take care of some biz, but get some family time, holidays. We owe it to them, you know. And, uh, and then in January, we're planning to go back into the studio in Nashville, make another record, and then release it and tour. Perfect. <laughs> That's the cycle. That's what you do when you're in a rock and roll yeah, band. That is exactly what you it do. It sounds really boring, but it actually ends up being really fun. <laughs> I, I'm really I'm really excited to see the live DVD. I think that'll be really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little bonus acoustic content to go with it. I oh, think that'd be, oh, yeah. that'd be pretty neat. Yeah. Well, idea. A nice idea. Yeah. That, there you go. I'm an that ideas guy. Just, just idea. helping you guys out. That's all I'm doing. Right on. <laughs> Rival Sons, thanks so much, guys. Tonight at the Bay City Music Hall. Really looking forward to the show, guys. Thanks for coming in. It is our pleasure. Everybody out there in Hamilton, please come and see us and uh, we'll show you a good time. Come catch the Rock Hammer Town. <laughs> come get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> come get pregnant tonight at the Rival Sons show. That's, what, that's a good way to cap it off.